Okay. It... Okay, it's hybrid auto. And I think it has seven seconds of history. And then it takes a photo. You really do need to have seven seconds or something to say beforehand though. And you've got to remember to put the microphone on. I think I'll give this a go for a little while and see how it works. Way to make sure that I don't kind of mess things up. Here's the dial setting in the next video. That's interesting. I just noticed that uh, it stopped recording. I don't even know what we got up to there. Oh well, I'll just continue where I left off. So the uh, Canon EOS R5 has been uh, specifically specifications, the specifications for the EOS R5 have been released. I don't know about the cost of it. And I was saying that uh, that's probably the camera that I'll aim to get after yeah, I don't know, after. Um, I'm happy with this camera to be honest. It's light, portable, it takes all the lenses, so I'm happy with it. Uh, and I'm kind of happy that um, we've got this chance to, yeah, it's the wrong words. Like, I'm talking about the pandemic you know, in a positive light. I mean, I know lots of people have died from this, so it's not like, I'm glad this has happened. It's more, uh, I think as other people have talked about, it's more um, need to make the best of situations. Yeah, any situation that we find ourselves in. And that's, I guess, where I'm coming from here is, is be, you know, wise to try to make, uh, make the best use of the time that we've got on this planet, whether we're healthy or, or not so healthy. Um, man, that's a really awkward subject, isn't it? What do you do when you're healthy and you've got people that are out of work or sick and out of work or in work but, you know, restricted in lockdown. So. Yeah, that's us. This is the pandemic. This is the reality of what we're in. So I, I have a optimistic nature. So I just always look on the bright side of um, what's in front of me. So for me, this is like um, a really good opportunity to do what we're doing now with, um, with YouTube and um, just connecting with people. The internet, man, since 1993. I rolled out the internet at the university where I was work, uh, studying and working. I helped roll out the internet. So um, laying cables and configuring computers and seeing lecturers for the first time get access to email and uh, web browsing using, <laughs> man, it was a text-based browser. I think it might have been Mosaic. I can't remember now exactly. Um, and it was literally text displayed on a screen. There were no images, there were no pictures, no video, no nothing. It was just pure text. And what, what got me was the, uh, the ability to send a message from one computer to another <laughs> uh, instantaneously. The problem was you'd have to wait for the other person to dial in, check their email and then respond. And that could take, sometimes it would take two days because people would have were we're not used to having email as their default form of communications. It was telephones and letters and faxes at that point too. Faxes were revolutionary. Images being sent from one place to another instantaneously. Uh, yeah, so email took a little while to catch on, but man, when it, when it caught on, it didn't disappear, did it? we still got it now. It's turned into a spam system now. And so I think uh, Microsoft Teams is a really interesting thing. Zoom, Skype, all those chat programs are being morphed into business tools where people can talk to each other, chat with each other, 
and send notifications. And I think that's where the next um, phase is going to go, notifications as opposed to emails. So the little red number in uh, Messenger or in Facebook for notifications and what you see in uh, Instagram and uh, here on YouTube, that I think is going to replace the, uh, uh, the communications channel. Email will still be there, but it's more that for speed and ease of use, we're going to look at notifications and see, see within a couple of seconds or even shorter, do I want to investigate that further now or just acknowledge, yeah, I've got that and then choose not to send a reply or not because it's a notification, no one's expecting you to respond. So it should improve efficiency and it should reduce anxiety if the only thing that you have notifying you is the notification. If you still have emails dinging, calendars dinging and other apps dinging you, then you're constantly going to be abused by the technology. But if you remove all the notifications and just have that one, in the Microsoft Teams example, uh, activity alert, then that should reduce a whole lot of interruption to uh, your life. I've done that with uh, my phone. It doesn't ring anymore. It doesn't text ping me anymore. The only thing that grabs my attention now is when I put a calendar event into the, uh, the phone and then it'll alert me. So I put alarms in there and countdown timers and calendar events that I'm, I want to not miss. They're the only notifications I get now. Um, and look how relaxed I am. And look how, how gentle I am. And it's making my life wonderful. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of works for me. It may not work for you. Now, coming to a point where we have uh, a walk where I can show you this macro lens, which I love. Um, it's really, really quite versatile. So the only problem is, of course, it loses focus all the time. I think that's the, actually the, um, the M3, the Canon, not so much the lens, because it does this hunting thing all the time, regardless of what lens I've got in there. That's one of the reasons I use prime vintage manual focus lenses more and more so that I can control the, um, the focus a lot more reliably. If this had the, uh, the dual pixel um, autofocus system, man, I would just hold onto this camera forever and ever. It's just perfect size and it's got all the lenses and adapters and stuff that I like. So I want to find something that we can have a look at without getting Alfie into anxiety. So I'll pick a little leaf here. I don't have any flowers. I was just thinking autumn, autumn and, uh, I'll take this off, autumn and um, spring are similar in terms of that time of year. Neither hot nor cold. Uh, so I, sometimes I wonder whether things spring to life in the, um, in the springtime, uh, in the autumn time, like they do in spring, but it doesn't happen. That's what I've made and noticed anyway. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put this into macro mode, but first of all, let's see if we can focus. Them.
centimeter away from the lid. Centimeter away from the lid, half a centimeter apart. So I was editing, whoops. So I was editing the I was editing the footage from earlier today for the first vlog file and I noticed that uh, it abruptly stopped. I think it's because I switched the mode of the lens from super macro to macro and it just stopped the recording. I forgot what I was talking about. It wasn't that important but I just thought rather than abruptly end the vlog like that, I will just so thank you very much for watching um, please subscribe and like and hit the little notification bell so you can tell when I've uploaded again and I'm going over the top at the moment I'm not working so this is my work now the, at the moment YouTube so I'm just putting the videos up holes bolts blindly madly crazily uh, and just seeing which ones are getting more traction and which ones aren't and then tweaking things to see uh, how I'm going to set up the channel. So bear with me while programming gets um, resolved. I don't know how to phrase it. Anyway, I will post more soon. But I've uh, worked out a name for the oh god for the series that I want to make. It's called Larger Than Life. All right, Larger Than Life, and it's going to star, or it's going to have these kind of things in it so obviously small hence larger than life you get it so it's going to be um, yeah characters that I write, I write stories for uh, and instead of having live actors I'm going to use those kind of figures to uh, make a story and uh, hopefully make it humorous because I like humor believe it or not I'm a funny guy And then, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens with that. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't work, that's great too. It'll be a good experience either way. Uh, so, oops, I'm enjoying this. Um, I'd, I'd like it if you were enjoying it, obviously, but primarily, uh, sorry guys, this is for me more than anyone else. So, I'm having a great time. <laughs> Hope you are too. Okay, we will talk soon. See you in the next one.